First, a deadly multi car crash on the 5 freeway in Orange County this morning has closed all southbound lanes just before the 405. CBS 2's Jasmine Bill, she is live for us on the freeway right near the Alton Parkway exit. Jasmine. Yeah, Jeff and Sharon, so behind me you can see CHP is now mapping out the accident scene and trying to clean up all the debris here uh, after those cars were just scattered across all lanes. Uh, this is where one woman was killed and nine other people injured, including a six-month-old baby boy. Take a look at the video, the scene, this mess from earlier. CHP says it was the driver of a Dodge Challenger that started it all. He was arrested on suspicion of DUI. CHP says he's a 22 year old from Nevada. The woman though, the victim was 24 years old from Chula Vista. Now investigators say calls came in about that Dodge Challenger going more than 100 miles per hour when he slammed into a Prius. Now the driver of the Prius says 10 minutes later, despite efforts to warn other drivers, there was just that chain reaction crash, seven vehicles hitting each other one after another. CHP says the woman killed had stopped her car actually and was reaching for her baby when she was just slammed in. To. It, this all happened around 1.30 this morning. The other people hurt include two kids, ages 10 and 11, in a car with their dad, a teenager, and then four adults. Now listen to the Prius driver who says he's an Uber driver. He was on his way to pick somebody up when that Dodge Challenger came racing behind him. And the guy came up on me real fast with bright lights. And uh, typically people do that as a joke and then swerve around. But this guy didn't swerve around to hit me. And he knocked my wheel off and destroyed my car. And back out here live, as for the closure here on the southbound side of the 5 freeway with all lanes still shut down, CHP can only tell me it could remain closed here at least through 8 this morning. And uh, Stephanie, as I send it over to you, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, still at least another two to three hours. And uh, those passengers, the drivers, they were taken to four separate hospitals. So uh, a huge tragic accident out here this morning.